talk about types of bats and how to treat them. Cricket bats are usually made from two types of wood, English willow and Kashmir willow. Kashmir willow is grown in India and English willow is grown here in the UK. English willow bats tend to be more expensive than Kashmir due to it offering a better performance for the player. Generally, English willow is lighter than Kashmir, which means you can get a bigger, more powerful bat without as much weight. Also, the wood from English willow is what we would describe as softer. It has more spring in it. This is a really good quality for cricket bat, as it means that you can send the ball further with less power generated from the batsman. Treating the bat. There are two things that we would advise to do when a customer purchases a new bat. Knock it in and oil it. Lots of manufacturers now provide pre-knocked in bats. We would still suggest that the customer can do both of these processes to increase the performance and the durability of the bat. Knocking it in. This is simply hitting the bat with a wooden mallet to compress the fibres. This gives you a more solid piece of wood which performs better and is more durable. Oiling the bat. This gives the bat some more moisture which prevents it becoming dry and brittle. After the bat is in production, it sits in a warehouse or in a store where the wood can start to dry out. We suggest only putting a small drop of oil on a cloth and rubbing in to the wood around the bat. Don't oil the parts of the sticker only where you can see bare wood. We would suggest to oil the bat once or twice a year. Quality of bat. The price or quality of a bat is sometimes determined by what we call blemishes. These are natural marks that can be found on the wood. These can be caused by a growth or where a branch was growing from the tree. These blemishes can be found anywhere on the bat, but can actually not affect the bat performance too much, especially if this blemish is not on the sweet spot where the player will be striking the ball. However, these blemishes will cause the manufacturer to downgrade the bat. And if it has many blemishes, they will actually bleach the wood so that the marks are not as visible. This is only done for aesthetic reasons. This is why you might find a cheaper bat is a lighter shade of wood, because they've been bleached more. The grains of the wood are also important in terms of quality. The lines down the middle of the bat are the grains, and these are the springy part of the wood. Usually, what we say if a bat has straight, consistent grains, it is a better quality of bat. So when you see a more expensive bat, you will see the grains are straighter, whereas a cheaper bat, you maybe see wavy, not clear grains and also the bat will have been bleached, so it might have had a lighter shade of wood. One thing to remember is that cricket bats are natural, so no two bats are the same. Even with the same product, you can see differences in quality. Take the time to go to the shop floor and familiarise yourself with the cricket bats that we have today. The quality, the size and the shape. This will give you more confidence when speaking to the customers tomorrow.